Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new after effects tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to create this this video is sponsored by wondershare demo creator Wondershare Demo Creator is the easy to use screen recorder and video editing tool that is perfect for making tutorials, demo videos, presentation recording, gaming, vlog and anything else you want to capture on your window screen. Wondershare Demo Creator also included full video editing interface. You can import all your visuals and audio media all together in timeline tracks. You can adjust the full properties on the right side. On the left side, you can find newest template available to add titles, transition between media, cursor effect and many more. Demo Creator also included the green screen effect. Whenever you get any green background, you can drag and drop the green screen effect on it. Please take a look at our video description to download a free copy of Demo Creator. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Ok, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition and let's call it logo mat and I'm going with 800 by 400 pixel and frame rate 30 and duration 6 seconds long then click on OK. Now import your logo and project files. Then select your logo and place it into this composition then make it smaller now create a white solid layer so right click new then click on solid then click on ok then go to effect and preset window and search for linear wipe then select this effect and apply onto this layer then transition completion set it 100% and then we angle set it uh, maybe minus 60 and then feather set it 200 then go to beginning of this animation and then set a keyframe on transition completion then go to around 4 second then transition completion set it 0 then select this logo layer and then change the track mat to alpha mat. Perfect. Let's create a new composition. Go to project window and then click on this icon. Let's rename it to logo animation. And this time I'm going with 1920 1080p and frame rate 30 duration same 6 second then click on ok ok now go to project window and then select our logo mat comp and then place it into this composition then select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for fill then select this effect and apply onto this layer then color set it black again go to effect and preset window and search for bevel alpha then apply onto this layer and then edge thickness set it 3.5 light intensity set it 1 and then go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on light angle then set it 0 then go to end of this animation and then change the light angle to 360 degree like this looks good to me okay now select this layer then press ctrl d twice then select these two layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for gaussian blur then select this effect and double click on it 
then select this layer and then change the blurriness to 25 and then select this layer and then blurriness set it 300 and dimension set it horizontal then select all layer and then change the layer mode to add perfect now select all layer then right click and choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and then rename it to logo stroke then click on ok now select this layer and then press ctrl d twice again then select this last two layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for Gaussian blur then select this effect and double click on it then select the second layer and then change the blurriness to 75 and then select this last layer and then change the blurriness to 300 again select all layers and then change the layer mode to add go to project window and select our logo mat comp and then place it into this composition and move it few frames forward okay let's run view it looks good to me okay now select this last three layer then go to around 3 seconds then press T on your keyboard then select all keyframes then go to end of this animation and then opacity set it 0 select all keyframes then press F9 to make them easy ease looks good to me now select this layer then press ctrl plus D then press u and delete all keyframes and change the opacity amount to 100 then go to effect and control panel and then change the blurriness to 200 then go to effect and preset window and search for curves then select this effect and apply onto this layer then change the graph curve to something like this and change the layer mode to normal then go to project window and select our particles layer then place it into this composition and then simply change the layer track mat to alpha mat Let's try and preview it. It's look really nice. Now select this three layer, then press Ctrl plus D, then place it below all layers, then create a new adjustment layer. Right click new, then click on adjustment layer then place it here and then uh, go to effect and preset window and search for direction blur select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer and uh, blur length set it 500 then go to beginning of this animation and set a keyframe on direction then go to end of this composition and direction set it 360 degree like this then again go to effect and preset window and search for curves apply onto this adjustment layer then change the curves to something like this
perfect now create a new object so right click new then click on new object then select all layers then parent it to null one then select this null one then go to around two seconds then press s on your keyboard then set a keyframe on it then go to end of this composition and then uh, scale amount set it 75 then select these two keyframe and then press f9 to make them easy ease. then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this again create a new object right click new then click on null object then select this null one then parent it to null two then go to beginning of this animation then press s set a keyframe and then go to around uh, like uh, three seconds then set it one one zero and go to bringing up this animation and change the amount to 135 then select this two keyframe and press f9 to make them easy ease okay let's ramp view it looks good to me okay now select all layers then right click then choose pre-compose and then select leave all uh, sorry move all attributes and then rename it to animation then click on ok then press ctrl plus d and select this layer then press s and make it a little bit bigger then press T then go to around one second then set a keyframe on it then go to around uh, maybe four seconds long then opacity set it zero then select these two keyframe and press F9 to make them easy ease then select this layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for Gaussian blur then select this effect apply onto this layer and blurriness set it maybe 200 and then change the layer mode to screen let's change the position a little bit okay now create a adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for curves then apply this effect onto this adjustment layer then change the rgb curves to something like this then go to effect and preset window and search for uh, noise apply onto this adjustment layer amount of noise set it 5 then again go to effect and preset window and search for sharpen apply onto this layer amount set it uh, maybe 10 again uh, go to effect and preset window and search for uh, photo filter then apply onto this layer then filter set it custom and then choose uh, any color you want And then density set it uh, maybe 95 or something okay let's press 0 to ramp view this thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day